Hey everybody. So people have been telling me uh, that they're kind of surprised at uh, sort of the uh, the lackluster response in the bond market today, given the much stronger than expected jobs report. Uh, they're saying, well, you would have thought that bonds would have had a sharper down move, uh, but that didn't happen. And I'm also a little bit surprised, but we have to remember one thing, which is very, very important. It's all about the Fed. It's not about these numbers. Uh, if the Fed wants rates at 50 basis points from now until forever, it could leave them at 50 basis points. Even if the unemployment rate went to zero and even if inflation went to 20%. You're dealing with a monopolist here, a central bank, who has the um, complete ability to set rates wherever it wants, anywhere along the term structure. Okay, so one of the reasons why maybe we're not seeing a big down move in bonds today is because there really uh, haven't been any statements that I've seen coming from the Fed saying or suggesting that they're any closer to a rate hike. If you look at the CME's FedWatch tool, which uh, infers the likelihood or the probability of a, of a rate move based on where Fed funds futures are trading, it's only at an 18% probability for September, for the September meeting. Now that's up from 9% yesterday, but 18% is still low. So we need the Fed to say something anybody over at the Fed to at least give an indication that, hey, you know, the rate hike is definitely back on the table. I mean, I just don't know with these guys. This is not a market-driven thing. You're dealing with a monopolist. You're dealing with Janet Yellen, who has shown uh, a, a huge aversion to making another rate hike. Okay, the Fed said it was data-driven, but we've seen lots of data up until now, which would have supported and justified a hike, in my opinion, but they might, they might not hike. They might have bought into this whole, you know, Peter Schiff argument that they can hike. So, you know, <laughs> we're kind of making a bet against or or uh, with an entity that is in total control of the price being the rate. So it's kind of like, it's up to them. It's really not up. They, they might say they're data driven, you know, uh, until they're blue in the face, but they have to actually do it. Otherwise the rates are going nowhere. So that is the answer. So let's hope, I mean, we, I, I'm pretty sure still, if we see the data continue to improve, because they really, they want to do it. Okay. They're all at least they were. They were all into this belief system that uh, the zero rate, the zero bound was artificial. And in fact, it's really, that's the natural rate. Uh, but they want to do it so bad. But maybe, I don't know, maybe all this, uh, all these other central banks have kind of seen the action there or, and what the policy moves that they've made with the uh, Bank of England and the Bank of Japan. Maybe they're just thinking, hey, you know what? We'll just stay like those guys. We'll just keep it accommodative in their minds anyway. That's accommodative, even though we know that it's just sucking out income. So that's why bonds are not down today. We got to wait. It's all up to them. And we got to hope that they look at those numbers and think it's okay. And I've made this comment before about Janet Yellen. I just, I, I just see her as very, very, very cautious and timid. You know, I mean, so I don't know. I just don't know. All right. Hope that answers your question. Bye-bye.